This is going to be a simple, straightforward, step-by-step -step tutorial where we're gonna show you how to get set up with the Phantom Network on a MetaMask wallet. I'm gonna start and do it all on the screen for you so you can see it all happen. There is one thing I wanna note. We've added one step in this tutorial that you're not gonna see on any other tutorials online right now. And the reason for that is I wanna save you a lot of money. Okay, so if you're familiar with the crypto space at all right now, anyone trying to use the Ethereum blockchain is getting absolutely screwed and spending hundreds if not thousands of dollars on fees. So we need to be able to put money and, and fill this phantom wallet that we're gonna be creating here in a minute, but we need to do so while avoiding using the Ethereum blockchain at all costs because we all know we're just gonna lose a bunch of money in that process. So we're gonna add one additional step and that's gonna help us to avoid that blockchain. So what we're gonna be doing, here's the, the three-step process. First, we're gonna be getting the MetaMask wallet. Then we're gonna to need to add the phantom network. That means we're going to need to uh, give the MetaMask wallet access to the phantom network so that it can uh, both hold phantom coins and it can interact with the phantom network. Then we're gonna fill that MetaMask wallet. Okay, so we're gonna to need to fund it and put actual money in phantom in our new wallet. And then we're gonna show you how you can go out and buy and interact with coins on this phantom uh, network. Now again, please watch the whole thing. Uh, we, we've done this in a way that hopefully doesn't cost you a lot of money in fees, and it might make this video a little longer than some of the other tutorials, but it will totally be worth it. Let's dive in now and get the MetaMask uh, browser extension. So all MetaMask is, is it's a wallet, a crypto wallet that resides in your browser, okay? And for me, it's my Chrome browser, and for most people, it's their Chrome browser. So you're gonna click that link. If you don't have it already, you're gonna get the MetaMask browser installed on your uh, Chrome browser. And you're gonna click install MetaMask for Chrome and then it's gonna walk you through a few steps. I've already got it, so I'm not gonna do the steps, but just follow the directions as it does. And once you get to the end, it's gonna take you to a screen that looks just like this, okay? Except you probably will show all zeros instead of that tiny amount of Ethereum. Now you can always go click right up here on the top right and this will be the same thing that you're seeing right here. Okay, so if you ever lose track of this screen right here, you can click up here and see the same stuff, or you can even click these three dots and click expand view, and it will pull up this screen again right here. Okay, so that's how you access this uh, wallet anytime you need it. Now, if you see right here, it says Ethereum mainnet, the MetaMask browser extension comes uh, defaulting with only access to the Ethereum mainnet. So what we need to do is add access to the phantom mainnet. Now, here's where that extra step is that I, I told you we're gonna be doing. We're not gonna be wanting to bridge directly from Ethereum to phantom, okay? We're not gonna be wanting to take any tokens out of Ethereum and move them to phantom because Ethereum is really expensive. So we're actually gonna add two networks. And by adding two different networks, this is how we're gonna avoid using the Ethereum network. So we're gonna add the Polygon network and then we're gonna add the Phantom network. Then further on in this tutorial, we're gonna fund the Polygon network and then we're gonna send the, the funds from the Polygon network over to our Phantom wallet. And that's how we're gonna avoid paying these Ethereum fees. So I've added two links down below. The first one gives you this information. It's gonna take you to a page like this and the information you need is uh, just a little bit down as you scroll. And the second one is the same thing. Um, but just a, a link for Phantom. So this is how we're gonna add these two different networks to our wallet. Now the way we do that is we click up here and you can see right here it says Ethereum mainnet and we're gonna wanna go to add network, okay? So I'm gonna add the Phantom one on screen so you can see it all happen and then you're gonna go and add the Polygon one as well, this one. It's the exact same thing, just a different network. So you can see right here, when we go to add a network, it's gonna say, okay, we need this information right here we can go right here to that first page we were looking at and it's all right there, okay? So I'm just gonna copy and paste each of these five things over here to these five corresponding spaces. All right, now I've copied and pasted everything in there. It should look just like this. And you can see here, I can now click save and it's now added the Phantom Opera network to our chain right here. And you can see right here, it's showing this is now the network that we're running on our MetaMask wallet. And we can always click here and go back to Ethereum if we want to, okay? We have access to both, but obviously we're gonna be using the Phantom Opera network for what we're doing here. So now you're gonna go do that exact same thing with the Polygon network using these five uh, pieces of information and you're gonna add the Polygon network as well. So I would pause for just a second, go add those, and now our MetaMask wallet will look just like this. You'll, you probably won't have the smart chain like I have on mine, but you'll have Ethereum, you'll have Phantom, and you'll have a Polygon mainnet, okay? And now what we need to do is we need to fund the Polygon mainnet. So I'm gonna click down here and we're gonna fund the Polygon mainnet. It, I know this is an extra step, I promise you it's worth it. So to fund the Polygon mainnet, uh, I, I had to find somewhere that 
everyone could use, right? We've got people in the US that have limited exchanges and people elsewhere as well that have limited exchanges they can use. So the best exchange for us to do this with is the uh, crypto.com exchange. Okay, so we're gonna go and that's only available on a phone. You're gonna click the next link down below and you're gonna sign up for crypto.com. Okay, and it's gonna take you through a setup process as these exchanges always do. And once you get set up, you're gonna be looking at a screen that looks just like this one right here. Okay, and crypto.com has access to quite a, quite a bit of different coins. The one we're looking for is Matic though. So Matic is the main token on the Polygon network and we wanna get Matic moved in to our Polygon network. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that see all button right there and it's gonna give us all these different coins and we're gonna click Matic. Okay, and there it is right there, Polygon Matic. So we're gonna click over and we're gonna to wanna to buy some Matic. Now, it's easiest if you just buy it with a credit or debit card. You can see there's a few different options for buying at the top. Uh, depends on who you are and, and how you wanna fund this. Um, but all you have to do is click add credit or debit card and then you can purchase as much Matic as you need to purchase. Okay, now once you've purchased Matic, we're gonna click that accounts button at the bottom right there. And we're gonna click that crypto wallet button and you're gonna see it's gonna show up. You have some Matic, which is great. So we're gonna click on that Matic and we need to transfer it over to our Polygon wallet that we've just created, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is click transfer. We're gonna click withdraw and then we're gonna click external wallet. Okay, and then we've got to add, this is a kind of a new thing they've done, which is a little frustrating, but they had a hack a while back and they really dramatically increased their security, which is a little frustrating sometimes for those of us that were already doing decent security and now have to kind of deal with this. But you're gonna click that plus button right there and we're gonna need to whitelist our Polygon address. And whitelisting is just saying, hey, this is an address I'm okay sending money to, money getting pulled off of crypto.com. So we're gonna click wallet address. And then super important, we're gonna do this on the Polygon chain. So click Polygon. And now it wants an address. Now the address for our Matic wallet is inside of MetaMask. Okay, so right here in MetaMask, on this page right here, or I can do it right up here, is an address. And this is where we're gonna make sure it says Polygon mainnet, but this is where we get that address. Now, since I'm using my phone and my computer, what I would do is probably just text it over to myself or something. Somehow I need to get that address from my computer over to my phone so I can copy and paste it in. And what you'll do is you'll copy and paste that Polygon address and then you'll name it, probably MetaMask or something like that, and then click continue. After you've done this, it's gonna show up right there. You've now got this white listed uh, Polygon address right there. And now we can go about withdrawing our Matic, which essentially says we're gonna send the Matic from this crypto.com account over to this new wallet we've created inside of MetaMask, okay? Now, it, it is worth saying, uh, we talked about these kind of new security measures crypto.com has. One of them, uh, which I'm hoping is just temporary while they figure out the, the hack that they had, is it, they're requiring 24 hours before withdrawing from a brand new whitelisted address. And so you may, you may have to wait 24 hours, you may have to pause, bookmark, and then finish this out tomorrow. I apologize for that, uh, that is, uh, the nature of the game in crypto right now. So we're gonna click Withdraw Matic, and it's gonna give us an amount. I'm gonna click that where it says 59 Matic at the top. Yours will say something different because we wanna do this in Matic. And then you can see right there it says max 10 Matic. That's how much I have. So I'm gonna click 10 right there, click Withdraw. Then you'll wanna make sure that everything looks good. It's on the, the Polygon network. All of that looks good. And I'm gonna click Confirm. And assuming uh, either they've gotten rid of this new security measure that they've enacted or you've waited 24 hours, you'll get a screen that looks like this one right here, okay? And now we're gonna wait. Uh, I've seen this take two minutes and I've seen this take uh, an hour and a half. And so we just gotta sit here and wait for the Matic to show up inside our Matic wallet right here. Now I'm gonna continue moving on at the tutorial because I already have some Matic in there. Uh, you'll just need to wait and you can just sit there and stare at the screen if you want or go get a drink, whatever you wanna do till your balance goes from zero to whatever you sent over. Okay, but once you get this Matic, now we can start moving that Matic onto the Phantom Network, and that's where we can start doing all these things that we really wanna do here, right? We're getting to the meat and potatoes, the real stuff here. Now, the way we do that is what's called bridging, and bridging is just taking these two different networks, right? We've got Polygon and we've got Phantom, and it's moving coins off of one onto another, essentially. And so there's gonna be another link down below, lots of links down below, and you can click that one, and it's gonna take you to this right here, which is a bridge on a site called SpookySwap, and this is where we can do that bridge. And it's gonna say, oh, what chain are you trying to bridge from? And what chain are you trying to bridge to? And then it's gonna have an option to connect a wallet right here. So we're gonna click connect wallet. We're gonna click MetaMask right there. We're gonna click next and connect. Okay, and it's gonna get everything connected. And now we wanna say, 
polygon, right? I want to move from polygon to phantom. Okay, and it says what token? You say I would like Matic token because that's the one I have in there. Look at it for a few seconds, make sure it all makes sense. And it, oh, you can see my new balance is 17. So it did show up. It only took about two minutes for it to show up from crypto.com. And now it looks like we're good to go. I'm gonna bridge, let's say 10 of my Matic over and we're good to go. Now here's where you're glad that you're still watching and you're glad you watched this one. And it says fee zero Matic, okay? If you were using the Ethereum blockchain, this fee would be uh, 200 or $300 for you to do this. Um, but we have no fee and we had a tiny fee yeah, as we pulled out of crypto.com. So we have successfully avoided fees in the world of crypto, which is very hard to do right now. And we're gonna click bridge token right here. And what we're gonna need to do is our wallet is now gonna say, hey, does this weird site, you know, the spooky swap have permission to do this? We're gonna say, yes, I'm giving it permission to do this. And now we can sit there and wait and it's gonna start bridging these tokens over. So right now the time uh, is 10.40 a.m. and we'll just wait this out and see how long it takes to show up. And what will happen is when it shows up, you'll be able to go into here, your MetaMask, we'll click here and select Phantom, and then we'll be able to see the tokens there. If not, that's fine, we'll talk you through that as well. So we're just gonna wait this out and wait till this swap is finished. All right, now that took me about eight minutes. So eight minutes for the full swap to occur. And now when I go up here to my MetaMask wallet, Okay, I can go to my Phantom Opera right here. And when I go to assets, it says you don't have any Phantom. And I say, oh no, I lost my money. So what we need to do is we need to import a token. We need to tell Phantom, hey, by the way, you need to keep an eye out for some Matic token that I sent here. Okay, so we're gonna click import tokens. And then we need to get the token contract address for Matic on the Phantom Opera network. Now, I'll be honest, I just had to Google this because I don't know this address um, by heart, but we'll leave a link to this last page right here as well in the description. Hopefully you're learning to bounce back and forth between the description and the video. And uh, what we're looking for is a contract address, which is the contract of this token. And uh, it's right over here. Okay, we'll click copy address. And in fact, we'll just paste the address down below. Um, that'll make it easier for you. So you just need to copy that phantom, uh, that Matic phantom address down below. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna click up here again. We're gonna click on import tokens right here. And we're gonna paste this address, okay? And it's gonna say, oh, Matic. I'm gonna say, yes, that's the one to look for, okay? And look, lo and behold, it says, oh, you've got 10 Matic in there. And you're like, yes, I do, okay? And now look, when we go here to our assets, we have got 10 Matic in our Phantom Opera wallet and we can now start doing exchanges. Now, SpookySwap, that site we were just on, is actually the best place to do exchanges as well. So we'll leave another link down below to the SpookySwap.finance exchange. But this is where we can now start buying and selling tokens on this uh, Phantom network, okay? So now we've got Matic and we're able to start making these exchanges. One more problem, okay, this is fun. One more problem is that we don't have Phantom token. And Phantom token is what we need to make any swaps on the Phantom Network. And if we don't have any of that token, we won't be able to make any swaps. That's fun, right? So we need to get just a tiny bit of Phantom token to make start making our first few swaps. Now, luckily, we're gonna leave one more link down below to this page. These guys will give you just a teeny bit of Phantom token so that you can make your first swap, get some more Phantom token, and then you can do any kind of swaps you want from there. So you're gonna go to that page and you're gonna click right here. And it says your wallet must have never been used before because they don't just give away to anybody, right? and you have to have recently bridged using this spooky swap bridge. And you're like, yes, that is me, okay? So now we just need to enter the address, our phantom address. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna make sure it's the phantom chain right here. We're gonna copy it, and it says they're gonna send you 0.2 FTM, okay? So you're just gonna keep clicking that arrow on the bottom until you end up on this screen right here. We're gonna paste our wallet address, and we are gonna click Submit right there. Okay, and hopefully it sends us phantom. There's an option for like refilling once you get your phantom for refilling, which we probably will do because this site is very nice to be able to make this a little bit easier for us. Okay, now we're gonna rub our fingers together and we're gonna pray that it actually worked. So we're gonna head back to our phantom wallet up here on the top right here and look, lo and behold, someone sent us some free phantom, bless their hearts. So now all you need to do is make whatever exchange you wanna start making, okay? So you're gonna to go to this link right here, uh, the last link down below, which is the spooky swap swap, <laughs> the spooky swap swap. And this is where we can make any kind of exchanges that we want on the Phantom Network, okay? We can exchange Phantom 
for whatever else we wanna have. Now, so that I never run into this issue again, I'm gonna exchange all my Matic, okay? So I'm gonna exchange all my Matic right here for Phantom, so that I can make sure I have Phantom in my wallet to do whatever I want. So I'm gonna click Max, it's gonna say all 10. Then you're gonna to wanna to go and approve, okay? You're gonna approve, saying we want to give Spooky Swap access to our Phantom wallet that we've created. And it's gonna take a couple seconds or half a minute to approve and give Spooky Swap access to your uh, the tokens that are in your Phantom wallet. All right, and we are now at the point where it says you can make the swap. Okay, so we're gonna click swap and it's gonna swap the 10 Matic that we've sent over. And we're gonna click confirm. And the beauty of everything we just did, guys, is we probably spent $2 in fees, okay? I ho hopefully we can get a few likes out of this and people don't complain about the complicated nature of this. It's complicated already. We just added one more step to save ourselves a couple hundred dollars. Why not, right? All right, but we can now head up here to our wallet, our Phantom wallet, and you can see I now have eight Phantom and no Matic, okay, in my assets. So I've managed to exchange all my Matic, I've filled my Phantom wallet, and now I am totally ready to go on the Phantom network. One thing to know is you're probably looking to buy a specific coin, okay? You're probably looking to buy a specific coin, so let me show you how to buy any specific coin that you're looking for on the Phantom network, and then we can end this tutorial and we can all be relieved that it's over. So the best way to find any coin that you're looking to purchase is you're gonna go to CoinMarketCap. And what we're looking for is a contract address. Now, a contract address is what we use when we're interacting with these blockchains, where we say, I have this coin, I wanna interact with this contract address to buy this coin. Okay, and the best place to get contract addresses unless someone just physically gives you one and, and you, you can copy and paste from them is to go to coinmarketcap.com. Okay, and we'll leave a link there below. And then you'll just go right up here and you'll type in the name of the crypto you're looking to buy. Uh, so one of the ones I know, um, currently doing very poorly, um, but it's one that I got into a while back, it's called Hector Dow, and it's on the Phantom Network, okay? So you can see I typed in Hector, it showed up here, and then right down here is a contract address for making a purchase of Hector Dow. So you're gonna copy that address, okay? And then you're gonna go back to that spookyswap.finance and now I can buy this coin on the Phantom Network that I've really been trying to do for 30 minutes as you've been watching this tutorial. You're gonna click, I wanna swap from FTM and then you're gonna paste that coin address, okay? And it's gonna say, this one right here, are you sure? And you're gonna say yes and then you can choose how much. So I'm just gonna say point, I'm like, I don't wanna spend very much on my Phantom here. So we're gonna say 0.5 Phantom. You can see where it says price impact is very high, which means um, maybe this is a rug pull or something because there's shouldn't be very high with as much phantom as I'm buying But you're just gonna want to click swap. Okay, we're gonna give access to here We're gonna click confirm and then it's gonna finish out that transaction for us Okay, now the same thing like we talked about whatever coin you end up buying on this phantom network. You're gonna click here You're gonna click over to assets right here, and then you're gonna import that token Okay, we're gonna import that token so that it knows that it needs to look out for that token when it shows up We'll click import and once it's done, it should show up there, okay? So hopefully you now understand quite a bit about the crypto world, but specifically how you can uh, cheaply, with not very much money to start with, fund this phantom network. Let me know if you have comments down below. Uh, maybe you could update people on what crypto.com is currently doing, whether or not you had to wait 24 hours. If you like crypto and you're looking to get more into crypto and looking to learn it, uh, in a very simple, straightforward way, without hype, without flash, without fake promises. This is the channel for you, so go ahead and click subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.